two pills, one blue and one red. And he has to make a choice. If he chooses the blue pill, he'll fall asleep. And when he wakes up, everything will be exactly the way it's always been. If he chooses the red pill, he'll finally learn the truth. And I'm here today to give you that red pill. But let me make this very clear to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you how to think, how to feel, and I'm certainly not here to tell you what to eat. I'm simply here to provide you with information. And what you do with that information is solely up to you. So, what does the matrix look like? Let me show you. Now, despite what you might be thinking, these two circles are not equal. I repeat, these two circles are not equal. One is, in fact, larger than the other. What I need you to do is determine which one that is. So, please raise your hand if you believe the blue circle is larger than the red. All right. Please raise your hand if you believe the red circle is larger than the blue. All right, very good. Now, before I said anything about these two circles, what was your first instinct? Equal, right? because they look equal. And the reason why they look equal is because, in fact, they are equal. These two circles are identical. <laughs> Yet I got just about every one of you to raise your hand and say that they're not. So what do we learn? That you can be manipulated like that to believe in something that goes against your natural instinct. Just, just imagine, just imagine as a child you're taught that the blue circle is larger than the red. If you say it enough times, you convince yourself that's the truth. If you're told the lie enough times, it becomes part of your reality. And if enough people are taught that lie, that the blue circle is larger than the red, well now it becomes part of the culture. And if that culture then passes that misinformation along to the next generation, well now it becomes tradition. And what we have to remember is that just because we have a tradition doesn't mean it's morally acceptable. Tradition and morality are not always the same. I mean, can you think of any traditions that we once had in the United States of America that we no longer have? That today we think back and that was immoral. Yeah. Slavery. Slavery, right? Less than 200 years ago. And that was a tradition. So the traditions we have today doesn't necessarily mean they're morally acceptable. And as we evolve as a culture, so do our traditions. Now, the matrix is a story. It's a story when told enough times to enough people it becomes part of that culture. It becomes the tradition. And this story is being told over and over every day.